Hi, I'm Dave Bergman, Vice President of International Relations for IPC, and I'm bringing you this week's IPC Technical Question of the Week. This week, I'm sure you will have wished that I had studied harder in art class in high school, because I've got some really bad drawings up here to explain something that came in on our, uh, one of our question lines, and it particularly related to Dimension G. Now, Dimension G is a calculation from IPC soldering specifications, uh, the OOJ standard 001 or IPC A610, looking at the uh, requirement of the solder joint underneath, how much solder is going to be under the component. So my purple here is my solder, this is my laminate, this is my copper land, my solder is here, and here's my component going into my component lead going into the solder. And the, uh, the uh, person asking the question says, what does IPC say about dimension G? How thick does this have to be? After reviewing J-Standard 001, it was pretty clear that in all of the solder joint requirements, there is no specification uh, for G. It's listed that it has to be wetted only. So they do not give a specific um, thickness requirement. So I asked the, uh, the person what their specific interest was. And the problem that they were having is kind of what over here, it's kind of a unique um, situation and it looks like they're going in and stacking components on top of components and so they're having a coplanarity issue. Uh, they're putting their solder paste down, they're trying to put leads in on that and it turns out that they're not getting a consistent height and they're trying to control that by controlling the amount of solder paste uh, or the, dimension, the resulting dimension G. Well, the situation is the specs in this case can't control that. It's really uh, a variety of things that can be a problem. If your solder paste is not stirred well and uh, you don't, it needs to be very, it needs to be very consistent so that when you're laying your print pattern down, uh, you're getting a similar amount of uh, volume of solder balls so that when the leads are pushing into that, they're pushing into the same uh, similar level. So, in this case, uh, dimension G is not going to help but certainly uh, proper uh, preparation of your solder paste, proper process control of the pressure of putting your component into the solder will help with this coplanarity issue. So don't try and control uh, dimension G, control your solder paste, control your, your uh, uh, pressure you're putting your components into it. That's this week's technical question of the week. If you have a question you'd like us to address, please send it to answers at ipc.org.